board meeting to order uh, roll call of members. Yep. Uh, item two, approval and consent agenda. Uh, unless there's questions. Uh, we'll go to the uh, general fund conferences. Uh, most everything is, is normal monthly expenses. We do have a few uh, larger one-time expenses uh, this year uh, that we paid this month. Excuse me. Uh, Charles W. Carroll, that's for uh, estimate of needs prep for 5500 uh, and then BSN Sports, uh, I believe those are basketball uniforms. We have paid for, I think the boys came in first, and maybe these are the girls, but uh, that's what those would be for, for 4560 uh, Archway Marketing Services. Uh, I believe those are textbook expenses. And then 95% uh, group, that is a program that they're using at the elementary for uh, that be considered like science of reading um, letters, trainings that incorporated into that kind of yeah. work. I mean, so uh, it's a one-time uh, subscription uh, for that program that they're using. Um, like I said, there's a couple others in there that are not uh, too expensive, but um, APS Fire Company um, annual inspection that we have to do. Uh, Country Roads Inc. for $1,700. Um, those are for backpacks that uh, the Snap in Schools program that we got uh, $20,000 towards. Uh, so there are cinch bags uh, that will go to all the students with uh, food supplies in there uh, for healthy meals and just some, uh, maybe there's some literature to go along with that too. Those will all be uh, sent home. Um, and then Angie Newman Partners in Wellness for $3,480. Uh, that is uh, special education testing cost. So lots of things on that list. It's a long list, but um, so most of that is just uh, normal monthly expenses. Our electric bill was a little bit higher. Of course, we had some higher temperatures, uh, but I have kind of reminded our staff that uh, all need to be a little bit more conscious and energy efficient. We tried to uh, be more aware of that last year, and I think it made a difference, so uh, we'll try to keep doing that. But I think the higher temperatures kind of have a lot to do with that uh, this month.
activity fund. Uh, I don't think that there's anything specific there. Uh, it's getting a little busier. And if we get closer to uh, wrapping up our elementary and junior high football season, we'll get right into elementary and junior high basketball. And so that'll get a little bit busier there. But um, not raising dollars coming in, state money, officials' costs going out. It's pretty much the same there, too. And for treasurer's report, and if you have anything, you can jump in. But uh, just looking at this, it's kind of there at the back, or summary of our financial accounts. Are holding pretty steady. Uh, we had we issued a lot more uh, payments this month uh, just because we had some higher costs and some different things, vehicle payments that we made. Uh, so those those things were a little higher. Uh, I believe we made our last payment on our uh, property insurance. We won't have that that anymore, but uh, everything's holding pretty steady. This is kind of the time of the year between now and January when we get our tax check. We really just don't have a lot coming in other than gross production. Uh, our foundation paid the PA payments that we get from the state. Uh, so until January, uh, they're probably look, you know, a little bit more like we're spending a whole lot more than we're bringing in, but it's just that kind of time of year. I'll make a motion to approve the consent agenda. I'll second. Is that his right? Yes. Okay. Parker? Yes. Ho? Yes. Gibson? Yes. Collins? Yes. Item three, principles report. Four reports. <laughs> um, we've had a lot of stuff going on. Uh, next week we have parent teacher conferences on Tuesday and Wednesday from 4 to 7. Um, over here, since every parent has a portal to check grades in, we probably won't print progress reports off. We will if you absolutely need one. But that way everybody can remember how to get into the portal, check their kids' grades and attendance, and any notifications that are there. Uh, fall break starts on Thursday. We don't have school Thursday the 17th uh, through Monday the 21st. We do have a football home football game that Thursday, 2 o'clock, something we'll try and do this year. I think it'll be a lot of, a lot of fun. Uh, Michael Kornblit is a son of a Holocaust survivor. came and spoke to our high school students about the Holocaust a couple weeks ago. I think everybody enjoyed it because uh, Timberlake came up and brought their high school up as well. Uh, it was a very good assembly. I didn't get to sit through much of it. Um, this Friday night, we have a football game at Davenport. It starts at 730. Uh, which is later than most of our games now. Let's start at 7, so just a reminder, it's 7.30 at Davenport. Uh, one Act Regionals are this Thursday, October 10th. They have, they're have, head out tomorrow for setup, and then they'll perform, I believe it's 3.30 on, on Thursday is when the time they perform. So, uh, and they're going to Tonkwa this year. They usually go to Alba this year. They're going to Tonkwa. I think we can spread them up. Spread a few of the top schools out a little bit more. Um, Cherokee Strip Softball. Kenzie Roberts and Veronica Castro were selected as all-conference softball players, and Elise Roglin was an honorable mention. Uh, last week, FCCLA hosted 23 schools from the North One District Leadership Conference. Uh, I think we had basically three students, Davin Booty, Jennifer Harkins, and Salinas, and uh, Wiley Jones were pretty much in charge of that. So. Uh, it took quite a bit of work. They did a lot of decoration down there. I mean, walk down is like a whole, like a jungle. It looked really good, so uh, I think that went off very well. Miss um, <clears throat> Jordan took senior class, the senior class to Northwestern to their college fair last Thursday. Um, tomorrow night is Fields of Faith at the football field, I believe, at 6 o'clock. Um, FFA has been extremely busy. These are just a few of the things she sent me at the Oklahoma State Fair. Um, the beef skeleton, eight of the top ten were from Cherokee FFA with Tara Roberts winning high individual. She got 250 bucks for that. Um, goat skeleton, skeleton, seven of the top ten were from Cherokee FFA with Lindsey Wessels winning the high individual for, and also $250. Dairy judging, 
uh, with third place team of Jose Castro, Juan Castro, Haley Jantz, Lindsey Wessels, and Jose Castro was a 10th high individual. And then we had many placings in the grand exhibits, floor arrangements, ag mechanics, projects, and photography. And then the Tulsa State Fair, Aubrey Hughes was a reserve Division II weather goat and made the premium sale. Um, the Cal grading team was 24th out of 203 teams. And then again there, we had many placings with the grain exhibits, floor arrangements, ag mechanics, projects, and photography. Uh, tomorrow, they'll go to Fort Supply for shooting. They've already been once, just for a regular shoot. They were the third place sporting place team at Fort Supply. That team was Gavin Guffey, Hudson Wilson, Joel Parker, and Declan Lucas. Tomorrow, eight students will be competing at the Northwest Area Sporting Place. Um, the local contest Sunday, they kind of had a shoot off for everybody involved, and so we have eight senior members, eight junior members that are going. Uh, our best shooter on Sunday at practice was Cash Cantelli, who he scored 17 out of 20, so uh, she didn't give me the names. And I know several of them that are going tomorrow, but not all of them. So I, I'll just leave that there. Um, 12 8th and ninth graders are competing in Alva Regional Greenham Quiz tonight. Um, and opening ceremonies. Abby Guffey, Wayland Underback, Brant Fails will receive the American FFA degree in Indianapolis on October 26th. And then uh, I just put a note on here, we're getting busier and busier every week to help keep yourself up to date. Download the Cherokee Public Schools app for updates and notifications. So that's the best place to find everything. And keep your notifications turned on so you can find out everything's going on. Okay. Um. We haven't had a whole lot going on at the elementary in the past month. We've just been really <coughs> continuing, um, you know, classwork and what we're doing. Um, like you said, parent-teacher conferences are coming up. Um, the book fair is also coming up. Ms. Kenmore does a really great job with those, so I know the kids are super excited. It arrived today, so um, our library is kind of crowded right now, but uh, she'll start that on the 14th. There's a parent event on the 15th in the morning, and then there's a grandparent event on the 16th um, in the evening after school. Um, and then we'll have our Title I Fall Festival on October 28th, and that's something uh, the kids all love to come to and wear their costumes and play games and have fun. So uh, the only other thing is we have had one session of our OETT grant technology training, and it was super fun, and they're really teaching us ways to incorporate technology authentically in the classroom. So we're not just, you know, you're finished with your work, go get your Chromebook. We're really using technology to learn and as part of our direct instruction. It was a really fun lesson. Tomorrow they are coming as well, and they're going to jump into AI, which I'm really excited for us to learn about because I think it's kind of scary um, in the education world, and there's a little bit of you know, do we use it or not use it? And so I'm excited to learn more about it. Um, we'll be doing that tomorrow afternoon. And I'm excited about that. That's about it. Um, item for discussion, vote to approve the annual school board election resolution. Uh, something we do each year. I mean, there's some documents over here that we'll sign to approve that. Um, this is just so we can. Uh, allow candidates to file, and there's a press release that goes along with that. Um, so we would just need to approve the annual school board election resolution uh, so that we can put that out uh, as a press release that will be for seat number five. Um, the filing dates would be Monday, December 2nd through Wednesday, December 4th, and uh, we will make sure and get that information out Multiple outlets and anybody that's interested in doing that. I make a motion to approve the school board election resolution. Second. Parker? Yes. Poe? Yep. Gibson? Yes. Collins? Yes. Five discussion vote to close voting precinct seventy six zero 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 five in Woods County and voting precinct zero two zero one one zero in Alfalfa County due to there being one hundred or fewer registered voters in these two precincts. That's, that's something we've we've done every year. There's just somebody out there, so it makes it a little simpler. Make a motion to approve 
Parker? Yes. Poe? Yep. Gibson? Yes. Collins? Yes. Item 6, Superintendent Report. Um, I don't have much. Both principals uh, pretty much covered all the daily ongoings and the things going on in both buildings. Um, we did have our uh, fall accreditation visit back in September, and that went very well. And so um, no, no issues there. Uh, everything was, was good, and they're pleased with the way that things are going. So uh, that's, you know, because we got good people. So. Like I said, I don't really have a whole lot this month to report. Uh, not that it's not busy, but just uh, kind of quiet. So I'll come look. We're going to keep it that way for now. And see what next month brings. Yes, uh, I have to any new business? There's no new business. Parker? Yes. Bob? Yep. Gibson? Yes. Collins? Yes.